The Gotthard Base Tunnel is a mammoth project. At 57 kilometers, it's the world's longest railroad tunnel. The tunnel's purpose is to ease the burden of increasing freight traffic on Switzerland's sensitive alpine ecosystem. Passenger trains will also be able to pass through the tunnel at speeds of up to 250 kilometers per hour. The breakthrough in the Gotthard Base Tunnel occurred in October 2010, 10 years after the start of construction. 28 million metric tons of excavated material were moved, more than for the Great Pyramid. Now the tunnel is being outfitted with its tracks and technical infrastructure. The tunnel is due to be opened for scheduled rail traffic in December 2016. Eventually more than 200 trains a day will pass through the tunnel at speeds of up to 250 km per hour. Because the trains will operate beneath as much as 2,300 meters of solid rock and with up to 28 km to the nearest tunnel exit, safety is extremely important. If a train is unable to reach the tunnel exit due to a defect, it will head for one of the two emergency stop stations in the interior of the mountain. From there, up to 1,000 people can be evacuated and can transfer to a relief train in the other tube. To prevent the occurrence of an emergency, the tunnel system is equipped with countless sensors, monitoring facilities and controls. These are connected to two tunnel control centers at the north and south portals via thousands of kilometers of cable. Siemens has installed a tunnel control system, the heart of the monitoring system, at each of the two centers. The six-month-long test was passed with flying colors. The next step is the complete outfitting of the rest of the tunnel, followed by another intensive test phase before the tunnel opens in December 2016. Just to be sure that safety is on track along the entire 57-kilometer system. <laughs>